hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel my name is Keshawn and thank you so much for clicking on this video today you already know your girl is back with another story time because I have my phone you know that it is an XK make sure you guys like comment and subscribe before you leave the video follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Keshawn with three E's but y'all already know without further ado let's hop right into the video let's go all right y'all so boom I already have my XK pulled up this is titled me him and his girlfriend it says, hey girl, I love your story times and I thought I'd submit mine. I've changed all the names around so you can read it straight through. I'm going to jump straight into it because this is already going to be a long story time. Back in high school, I met this guy. We're going to call him Cole. We met at my cousin's house because she was doing his friend here and Cole just came along. The whole time Cole is trying to make small talk with me and I'm just in my phone giving short answers. Don't get me wrong, Cole was most definitely good looking. 6'2", light skin, curly hair with a tint fang, with a clean cut goatee. I had just got out of my first relationship that was on and off for two years and a month prior to meeting Cole. I also got pregnant by that same ex and my mom made me get a you know what. The month that I'm meeting Cole would have been my due date month. My head was everywhere and I wasn't looking to entertain anybody. This man made it his business to get my number before he left. He wasn't aggressive about it or annoying. It was kind of cute, but like I said, I didn't even want to waste his time. He didn't care though. I gave him my number to shut him up and of course he said, text me right now. Rose eyes. That night he told me he was transferring to my school and how he lives with his aunt. I didn't plan on seeing this boy other than when he went to my school, hoping by then he would forget about me. Wrong. Didn't get the chance to wait that long because the next day this boy was asking to see me. I was spinning him of course, but I got put in the trick bag. I found out my homegirl talks to Cole's homeboy that was getting his hair done. My homegirl asked if her and homeboy could come over to do the business and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You gotta get here before my parents get home. You would let your friend and her dude come to your house to have sex? Okay. <laughs> what I didn't know is that Cole is with homeboy. They ended up adding me on the group phone call. Homeboy and Cole, like, we coming over. We just got to take care of something and we're going to head that way. Mind you, we all live no more than five minutes away from each other and Cole said he had a car. I most definitely fell asleep on purpose, lol. Next thing I know is four hours later and I'm waking up to a phone call from homegirl asking if they could still come over. I'm like, girl, no, my parents home now. And she's like, okay, hold on. Next thing I know, she asked a homeboy to the call with Cole. They like, we're still going to come get you. I'm like, nah, it's cool. And homegirl all like, please, come on, girl. I can't go by myself. I'm like, fuck. It's okay, I'll go. Ten minutes later, homegirl's like, they just picked me up and we are on our way to you. I make up some lie to tell my parents and I started walking up the street in my neighborhood. I call homegirl to make sure I don't just walk up to a random car since I've never seen Cole's car before. I get to the car, homeboy gets in the back with homegirl, and I get in the passenger seat and say hi to everybody. Cole asks me for a hug. I give him a little side hug and he starts driving. I'm like, so where are we about to go? Cole, like, I was about to ask the same thing. In my head, I'm like, how you driving and don't know where you going? But I guess this homeboy and homegirl link up. We just tagging along, LOL. Homeboy, like, just go to McDonald's. And Cole's like, okay, and he drives there. We pull up, and me and Cole get out of the car and start walking to the McDonald's. And I look back, like, so they not coming? And Cole started laughing, like, nah, you know what they came to do. At first, I'm lost. Then the math started mathing, LOL. So me and Cole sit in the McDonald's and start talking. And it's crazy. The conversation just flowing. We laughing and talking. Completely forgot that we even came with homeboy and homegirl. After they was done, we went to take homegirl home first. We got to a stop like Cole was going on... After they was done, we went to take homegirl home first. We got to a stoplight. Cole was going on and on about something, and I just kissed him. He shut up real quick, and he was just smiling. Not going to lie, I was smiling hard, too. The night ended, and that was the beginning of a whole new wreck of mess. Me and him started seeing each other almost every day and on the phone every night. He started going to my school, and I had a half a day schedule, but I only needed my English credits for the year. So we was leaving school since he had the car. One day we was talking, and he was telling me how he followed one of my friends on IG. So I'm like, oh, okay, what's your name on there? Like, he was saying a name, but it wouldn't pop up. It was late, so I just left it alone. But when I woke up, I remember and just went to my friend's friend list and boom, found his page. It was public too. Not only that, it's a girl name in his bio with a heart. And not just any girl, a girl that already didn't like me from my sophomore year. Because she tried to say I took the boy she was talking to when I wasn't even worried about him, but whatever. I asked Cole about the girl. He said they talked, but that's not his girlfriend. I accepted it. Girl, what? 
You think dudes just putting girls with hearts and stuff in their bio and they not together? Okay. I accepted it and kept messing with him. Fast forward and I started seeing other things. For example, Cole was and still is a rapper. At the time, he came out with a video that was basically a house party. And she was in it, right next to him throughout the whole thing. I finally got to see her Instagram. She got pictures of them kissing, her driving his car, and pictures of her at his aunt house. The quotes are important, and you're about to see why. One day at school, I let Cole use my charger. He ended up leaving early and said he'd drop it off at my cousin's house. So that's where I started staying until the end of my senior year. He didn't drop it off that night, so the next morning he was giving me excuses, saying he was going to get his friend to bring it to him. Baby girl, where... He didn't drop it off that night, so the next morning he was giving me excuses, saying he was going to get his friend to drop it off to me. Lord forgive me, but I told my aunt I needed to go to the store up the street and ask to use her car. She asked if I had my license, and I said yes and showed her my ID, and she's older, so I knew she wouldn't really look at it. She said yes, and me and my cousin hopped in a car and drove to Cole's homeboy house, since that's who he said he was with. Homeboy's father opened the door. I've been there a lot, so his father knew me. I said hi and walked in and went upstairs to homeboy's room. I asked homeboy where Cole was. He looked so confused. I w so you just walking up? Okay. I was like, he wasn't here? Homeboy said he was, but he left last night. I said, oh, okay, and proceeded to walk to my car, laughing. Because why was this nigga talking like he was with Homeboy if he left last night? Homeboy like, hold on, I'm going to call him. And I'm like, okay, tell him I'm about to pull up to his house. When I say before I could even open the door to get to the car, Cole is calling me like, I'm sorry, I lied. Don't go to my house. I'm about to bring you the charger. Just don't go to my house. My cousin can hear him, and it's like, why he's so scared for you to go to his house? So I told him, you are going to give me my stuff. Meet me at your house, and I hung up. Girl, why this man kept calling and texting the neighborhood he lived in was big and i never actually been to the house and anytime i was in the car he stopped there and he always parked by the street by the playground so me and my cousin ran around looking for his playground and we cannot find it shaking my head i finally answered the phone for cole and he damn near in tears like please just go home i'm about to bring you the charger do not pull up at my house i'm like okay you have until eight to bring it we go home 30 minutes later he texts me and says he's outside i go out there and he's like get in the car i'm like no give me my stuff liar he gets out the car and hands me my charger but still holding on to it i'm like bro give me my stuff he's like you're gonna cut me off aren't you i said i sure am unless you tell me everything why didn't you want me to pull up at your house this boy goes to tell me he lives with his girlfriend we will get her the name Brittany. the car he been picking me up in in the car that we've been doing the nasty in is her car they were together for a year at that point i was stuck i took my charger and went in the house fast forward a week me and him don't talk i avoid him at school one day after school he calls me asking where am i i'm like why he asked if i could come get him up the street from his house I go and Brittany is standing there yelling at him. He gets in the car with me and we drive back around to my cousin's house. Cole gets a text saying she's throwing all his stuff out the window and into the yard. He gets in the driver's seat. I get in the passenger seat. You just gonna go pick up? Okay. I get in the passenger seat and my cousin gets in the back. He pulls up to the house. She's surely throwing his stuff out the window. He runs in the house and Brittany runs out the house. She comes to the car and asks, which one of y'all is fucking my boyfriend? I told her it was me and she wanted to fight. I dog walked this girl. Her mom came out and broke it up. He came out with the rest of his stuff and we left. He had his homeboy come get him and he left. Girl, why the next day he come get his stuff with this girl car and says nothing to me? I was done completely. So we stopped talking. We graduate. He moves back to Jersey. We talk every now and again. Nothing too serious. What? One day, I get a notification from Twitter. Brittany mentioned me. This is four months later. She said, why am I having dreams about? And she mentions me. She says, I'm trying to see what that mouth do. So my response was, what's up? I know crazy, but it didn't even get wild yet. Me and her started texting. She comes to see me and i show her exactly what this mouth do and she returned the favor me and this girl started messing around every weekend one weekend she's like she misses cole keep in mind they still are together and now that me and her kind of have a bond i'm not communicating with him at all we decided let's put our money together and go out to jersey to surprise him and he would fill up our tank on the way back so y'all just gonna assume he gonna we go up there and this man look like he's seen a ghost yeah because why would he not look like that
Because why would y'all so-called surprise him? He haven't even talked to you, homegirl. So why would you go surprise him in Jersey and say that he going to fill up our tank on the way back? Who are you to assume somebody that don't fuck with you is going to do something like that for you? Okay. He know me and Brittany mess around, so I think he just doesn't know how to act around me. But I'm chilling, like I'm just a wing woman. His friends see me and they all like, who's that? He's visibly mad, but can't say anything because he has a girlfriend. As the day go on, it's dark. Me and her start messing around in the back seat. He goes to touch me and I move his hand. I tell him to switch with me. I go in the front, he goes in the back, and they start doing their thing. And I was keeping watch, making sure none of his friends walked over to the car. Listening to them have sex was the most awkward thing I've ever experienced. Well, why you didn't get out the car... Or why did you tell him to switch with you? I'm so confused. When they were finished, she got out the car. I asked Brittany, what's wrong with him? She like, I don't know. Go talk to him for me. I rolled my eyes and walked over to him. He started telling me how he felt bad and he didn't want to do that in front of me and how he thought I was going to join. I told him she made it very clear that she not with that. Me and her got our thing and y'all got y'alls. Later on that night, it was a party on the block. Cole asked if me and Brittany want to go. Duh, what kind of question was that? We go and Cole can't even enjoy himself because he's trying to make sure nobody talks to me or touch me. Okay, y'all, um, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, <laughs> I'm gonna chill out on the ex case for a minute, um, this is probably gonna be one of my last ones for a minute, because, y'all, the grammar, I'm so sorry, y'all, I know y'all be saying, like, oh my god, you be getting annoyed with ex y'all, if, like, the grammar, y'all don't understand how important grammar really is when y'all are writing essays, paragraphs, statements, and the fact that people will really write a whole long-ass story time with no punctuation. It's a whole run-on sentence. Like, and when I'm reading, imagine reading a book, okay? A real, remember them hood books back in the day? Imagine reading a book with no punctuation. It's a one big run-on sentence. And not only that, the grammar is fucked up. It's misspelled words. Y'all, I'm so sorry, but I can't. I can't. So, I'm going to have to take a chill, a little backseat on the ax case just for a minute, y'all. Because y'all keep saying, oh, they long. I check my grammar and this. But I'm reading this stuff and y'all not checking y'all grammar. Y'all not proofreading this shit. And I can't take it no more. I'm tired of stuttering. I'm tired of silent slow. I can't do it, y'all. I'm so sorry. But homegirl, yeah, that story was crazy. I'm just so confused on like... I'm confused by you. I'm not even going to lie because how you find out basically that he was cheating on you and he was living with his girlfriend and then the minute he called you, you go pick his ass up with no problem, bring him to your house and then next day you next thing you know, he pulling up the next day back in the girlfriend car and come pick up his stuff and he don't say nothing to you and you got the nerve to tell me we still cool, we talk on and off. Girl, for what? I'm confused how you okay with that. And then you turn around, the girl that you quote unquote dog walked, now you talking about she mentioning you, talking about asking you what your mouth do, and you gonna go over there and show her after y'all done fought. Now you wanna sleep with her? And not only are you gonna sleep with her, you wanna quote unquote surprise Cole back at home, and you wonder why he looking crazy. Cause he ain't tell y'all asses to come up there. So you surprise him. Why are y'all even all hanging out? To girl, I just, you okay. All right, girl, thank you so much for taking the time to write that story out. All right, y'all, that is the end of her story time. Make sure you guys comment below what you would have done in a situation like this. As always, please be respectful. Thumbs up the video. And like I said, I'm going to take a chill on the SK. Like, unless I... No, because I'm going to say, unless I see one that's just really good, maybe, but... I ain't really been saying, I don't know, y'all. But y'all already know. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, AK Sean with three E's. But y'all already know. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.